Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, today was pretty cool because it's a snowstorm. Well, yesterday was. Um, it's, it's not cool that I had to call it at work two days in a row. But let's make the best of a good, a bad situation. My bad. Make the best of a bad situation. So today I decided on this cold, snowy day where we have like a bajillion feet of snow in New York City, by the way. And I decided to do a my tea collection type of video. So basically like all of my teas that I would have and I would snuggle up with on a warm, cold, snowy day. Also including my two favorite um, raw honeys that I will show you. So jumping right into it, I think I'm going to just start by saying um, that one thing in here isn't actually a tea. It's like a hot chocolate, but it's my favorite one. So I'm just going to show it to you. I guess I'll start with that. So my favorite drinking chocolate. This big, by her. So it's basically Cadbury original drinking chocolate. So imagine the Cadbury chocolate that you love, that's like smooth and creamy, melted down into a like, I mean this is a powder, but imagine it like in liquid form. Just pause there for a second. Just let, let that sink in. Let sink in. Just saying. So this baby was full about a week and a half ago and me and Shane Shane and I, <laughs> we, we hammered it. So there's that. This is the best. Um, if you can find it, grab it. The next thing I think I'm going to go on to is this um, Dragon Whale green tea. It's a loose tea. I really love loose teas. A lot of the ones that I have right now are a mixture. I guess I have some loose and some not, but I love loose tea. You can kind of measure it yourself. I just, whatever. Um, this just is the green tea. There's nothing else in here. It's so good. It's like stronger tasting, like in taste. I don't know, it's a really good wake me up, but it's really pretty looking. I don't know, I love it, it's huge. I guess I'll just go straight into it. This is one of my favorite tins for tea, it's from Tivona. I had once gotten like some blend and then it finished and I just use it if I can open it as like a thing for storage. So I put a whole bunch of different teas in here. Right now I have the Runa Focused Energy Ginger Citrus um, Tea. I haven't tried this one yet. It was in like a, a, a collection of like four or five different teas from Runa. This one is just the focused energy, so I've got to try that. I'm just not really into like citrus tea, but on a day that I'm going to need it, I'm going to definitely try it. Um, I also have some teas here. I have strawberry tea, peach and passion black tea, orange tea, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, I also have one of my favorite brands ever, Puka. I think it's called Puka. It's amazing. They have a cleanse and I have their chai. This is, oops, as I drop everything. This is the cleanse. This is awesome. It has, uh, what's in here? Nettle leaf, peppermint leaf, fennel seed, dandelion root, licorice root, aloe vera leaf. It's just really great. It really, it doesn't make you like poop a lot. It just makes you feel better. It makes you go like regularly. Um, and then the one, the vanilla chai is caffeine free and it's just great. There's nothing bad in here. Um, I think there was another one here from them. Unless I had, oh here it is. Yeah, the Puka Nighttime. Shane bought this for me um, several times when I was like sick and it really just helped me go to sleep. There's nothing bad in it. Just oat straw flower, licorice root, chamomile, lavender, and lime flower, valerian root, tulsi leaf. It's really awesome. So I definitely recommend them. I also have some yogi detoxes in here and some English breakfast tea. So this is kind of like my little go-to kind of like whenever I want something that I don't like, you know, have a box for or whatever. And there's like a little, it's like a little prize box. If I go, I can go on to, is this another one of those types of boxes? Yeah, I have another one like that. This one is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Rooibos Tea. Um, this is actually, I actually have that one. I just, I save the containers because they're pretty and I put more tea in them. So here I have apple and lemon and lime tea. I don't want these so I put them in here in case anyone ever comes over and they want something like this I have it just in case I'm not gonna throw it away I'm not gonna throw away tea if someone comes over and they want some I'll have something that's like citrusy or apple or whatever the hell I like then I also have a whole bunch of my two favorite yogis um, yogi teas I have the Tahitian vanilla hazelnut and I also have the Mayan cocoa spice these are crazy good I remember once I uh, I think I used the cocoa was it this one I put one of them with just water. You could put a little bit of like hazelnut milk or coconut milk in it. And I put a little bit of like whipped cream on top. Yo. Yo. Yo, it's so good. Like if you just, it's like a mock like hot chocolate. It's really good and it works. And it's like, it still tastes in a sense like chocolatey, but at the same time it's like lighter. So if you don't want like the hot chocolate, like 
happening, then just grab something like that. So that's a very good substitute for a hot chocolate if you're not like a hot chocolate person. Moving forward, I think I'm going to actually talk now about the actual Trader Joe's um, pumpkin spice. It's one of my favorites. I still have it because I just didn't finish it um, this year, but I get one of these every year. It's just natural pumpkin flavor cinnamon nutmeg cloves. It's just, it's really simple and it has like a really pretty little like bag. I don't know. I love it. It smells, it smells like a pumpkin, you know, like spice type of thing. I love it. It's one of my favorite teas ever. Go to your Trader Joe's and get one. I don't know if they still have it. Probably not. We're like a little well past that season, but they might. And like what I love about it too is that it almost has like a Cinderella-y type of pumpkin thing here. So of course I have to grab it. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the O Canada David's Tea. Um, I don't even know what this is, but it's really good. It's like a, it's like a candy tea. I only had it a few times because it's a little sweet for me. And there's like actual chocolate in here, which is crazy, I believe. There's like toffee bits and milk chocolate and almonds. It's legit, it's like candy for tea. Like if you don't want to eat candy, you can just drink it. I am a fiend for matcha. I actually had a, an original matcha. Um, but I finished that one. <laughs> and this one is organic matcha chai. So it's a blend of chai spices with matcha tea. And this is so freaking good. It's not like that crazy matcha, like strong taste. It's the matcha plus chai. So it makes it easier if you're not really like a matcha person or you think matcha is too strong. It kind of eases you right into it. So I love this. Um, it tells you how to make like the best latte on the back, which is pretty cool. There's no chemicals, no additives. It's all organic, so this is one of my faves. It's by Got Matcha, and it has like a little, little panda bear on it. Isn't that cute? That's that. I, I feel like we're rolling along, but at the same time, I have so much left. <laughs> the next thing I have is the caffeine-free Tazo Passion Tea. This is what you can get at Starbucks. Um, they use Tazo. Um, I got this because A, it's caffeine-free, and I try to go on like sometimes when I have you know, like too much caffeine or from like getting anxious or my skin's breaking out, I just try to go all caffeine free for a while. I'd like to stick to that, but you yeah, know how that goes in New York City. It's more of like a warm weather for me at least, but if I can't find another caffeine free one, like if I don't have any more, I run into this one. It's really good. It comes out really pretty and it's like pink and everything. You know if you go to Starbucks. So this one definitely is a really good one to have in, whoop, because I drop it in storage. Um, I also have another tin of stuff. This one is by <clears throat> Celestial Seasonings. It's a really cute tray. This one actually is their Red Velvet Cake um, Rooibos Tea. Um, I actually don't like it. There's a lot of tea left. This is kind of more now for people if they come over and they want a sweet tea. I actually like Red Velvet Cake. Um, and if they want to try it, they can. So again, it's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, I did there. However, I really do like it um, for guests and people who want something sweet. Again, you could probably put whipped cream on this and kind of make it like a mock hot chocolate too. So pretty cool. I'm not like a huge sweet tea person, which is why I like these two kinds of things. I kind of just keep for people around if they want to come over, have something sweet. Maybe they don't want to drink. Maybe they want something else. Whatever it is, this is here if they would like it. All right, so moving forward, I also have the Harney and Sons Green Tea with Thai Flowers. It's in the same kind of style as the pumpkin spice tin, except this is from Harney and Sons, and it's really good. Um, it's it's almost kind of like, have you ever had Thai iced tea? It's kind of like Thai iced tea, but like a little bit more spiced, because um, I guess they just put more stuff in here. I really don't know. It's coconut, ginger, vanilla, lemongrass. Maybe it's not, maybe it's the same damn thing. I have no idea. It just tastes similar. Um, it just tastes a little more herbally to me. That's like a word, herbally. Herbally, I hate that. That sounds so weird. Um, but if you mix it with like hazelnut milk or coconut milk, it kind of tastes like way better. I like mixing it with coconut milk. It just has that, it just, it complements the coconut in here to the point where it's like, I don't know, it just makes it more of like a warm, like winter type of tea. I also have the Aloha Tea Collection. It's organic herbal tea. My mom actually surprised me with this. Inside are four different teas. There's the Beauty Tea, which has juniper berry, green uh, rooibos leaf, hibiscus flower, rosehip, sea buckthorn berry, and dandelion root. There's a Clean Tea, which is nettle leaf, green tea leaf, raspberry fruit, ginger root, dandelion root. Then there's also the Lover's Tea, which is apple, rosehip, hibiscus flower, pomegranate seeds, spearmint leaf, cinnamon, strawberry, cranberry, rose petal, chili, and nutmeg. And then there's the Protect Tea, which has ginger root, elderberry, elderflower, lemon, myrtle leaf, echinacea root, and tulsi leaf. And all of it was um, 
Yeah, all of it's organic. They have like a little star. They say that star means organic and there's a star next to every ingredient. So there's four teas. Basically, Aloha is like one of those things you probably see on like your strip on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, they have like um, protein powders now. Uh, I believe they have green drinks. They have those little pills you take every day of like cleanses and they have like the, also the daily like uh, pills for like just keeping your body in shape. And now they have like a tea collection. So I wanted to try it. My mom wanted to try it and we kind of got it and it's really cute they're pretty big they're really pretty packaged this is the beauty one again it says everything that's in it it tells you how to do it 3 to 15 minutes of boiling water steepage and uh, it's pretty cool I mean I actually haven't tried every single one I tried the beauty one I tried the lovers one and I tried the cleanse one so I'm just having to try the protect one um, I really like them this is actually my favorite tea in the entire world um, it's the Numi organic jasmine green tea this has to be my favorite tea ever. I mean, ever. I go through boxes. I don't think, when I'm out of a box, I don't drink tea. Even though if I have all of this, I'm like, nope, if I don't have my new me, I don't want tea. Like, it is my safe place. It is my happiness. It is my joy and it is my love. This is just the most incredible. I don't know, but I've tried so many other green teas, jasmine green teas, and they just don't, they're just not this. This has like a perfumey, aromatic, but not IPA perfumey, but it's just like, <laughs> those of you who got that joke, lol. But it's just so good, it's just, I don't know, it's scented with jasmine flowers, but however it has like a jasmine-y taste, which I don't know how the hell they did that, but it's amazing. Um, it's gluten-free, um, I, I guess, I don't know why it wouldn't be, but <laughs> um, Def, it says it's smooth, has hints of moonlight. See, this is just like made for me. It's like magical tea. This is basically magical tea. It says the smooth tea has layers of subtle fragrance and hints of moonlight. And it's scented three times, I guess, which is why it's kind of sunk into the taste, I'm guessing. I don't know. I just love it so much. And it's like those little packages um, like this, with little jasmine flowers on it. This is my favorite. And what I do with this is I steep it. I leave the tea bag in because I like tea strong for the most part and I put in a teaspoon of raw honey, and that to me is the most incredible thing ever. I would take that over a thousand cups of coffee. I mean, I just, I'm having a moment. I'm probably gonna make one after this. So, um, I'm going to tell you about one more tea, and then I'll move on to my two raw honeys. But if you can get your hands on this, get it. It's at Fairway. I think they might have it at like Stop and Shop too. I'm, I'm not really sure, but you can also get it online. It's the best tea ever. Okay. And the last thing, which is a hot mess, I really don't want to open it because tea's been falling out of here, so I just don't know what to open it. It's traditional loose leaf um, yerba mate, basically, is what this is. It's loose tea, so it's a hot mess. Um, I just, I don't know why it's open like this. Um, it says, for centuries, South America's Ashi Goyaki, I'm so sorry if I butchered that, tribe uh, has sipped yerba mate daily for its powerful rejuvenative effects. Um, it's a high energy infusion made from naturally caffeinated and nourishing leaves of South American mate tree. I like couldn't even read that because it was like all botched up here. But it's really good. It's strong. It's delicious. I love it. Uh, that substitutes coffee sometimes in the morning for me. And the last two things are my raw honeys. This you can get at Costco. It's 100% Prior raw and unfiltered honey. Uh, made by American Bees, and this one is Highland Valley of Prairie's Local Raw Honey. This one I think is made in PA, but I sell it in New York too, and this one is Nature's Nates Natural. So you can get these online. Um, again, Highland Valley and Nature's Nates. These are amazing. They don't have a crazy, like, really nasty, harsh taste. This one's actually really good to put in, like, food or cookies if you're, if you're baking too, um, but this is an amazing tea. Uh, a tea honey, I guess you can call it. It has like a very subtle taste that complements every tea. Specifically, this. This is my favorite combination in the world, and I love it so much. So basically, that was my how to stay warm with tea kind of my tea collection video, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Sorry, I was a little bit all over the place. I'm having kind of a hot mess. I haven't filmed in a while, so I'm just like, whoa, what is filming? And I'm just kind of like. I don't know, I took my dogs out in the snow and they were like not having it but still cutely like falling and it was just really cute. So anyway, I'm gonna probably go try to take them out again and maybe I'll put in some clips of my little doggies playing in the snow. And anyway, stay warm today. Um, if you are in this blizzard uh, or these hazardous conditions, whatever, kind of died down and drink some tea, 
stay warm, play with puppies. Thanks again, uh, thanks again. <laughs> I like can't talk today. Thanks again guys for joining me today um, and hanging out with me and if you have any recommendations for awesome tea or raw honey that I should try, please link them down below or just type them to me. I'd love to know. I like trying that kind of stuff. And like I said, stay warm. Love you all. See you later. Bye.